In this microbiology lab, students melted nutrient agar and poured it into petri dishes to provide food for the bacteria. Students chose a strain of bacteria that they wanted to grow. They chose from Micrococcus luteus, Rhodosporum rubrum, or Bacillus subtilis. Students then streak their petri dishes with their bacteria with a sterile inoculating loop, put their petri dishes upside down in the incubator, and checked on them each class for a week to look for growth and contamination. Not only did students learn about growing bacteria, but they did so by using aseptic technique. Aseptic technique is important for preventing the spread of germs. Uh, hi, so basically what we're doing today is we're casting a gel for an electrophoresis run, which is basically like running DNA so we can see it better. So today with our gel, we poured agarose into a um, glass beaker and then we also added a uh, Carolina blue stain so that way we can see it better and we start it together and poured it in the casting tray so that way we can use that to run our gel. <laughs> So today we're going to be running a TAE buffer through a gel that we have made. And doing this is going to allow us to test three different sources of DNA to compare them and see which three are alike. We know that one is a virus from Missouri, one is a virus from Alabama, and the third is from Louisiana. And using the two viruses, we already know how they work. We can check the third virus and see if it's the same virus from Alabama or Missouri, which will allow us to identify it and see if we should be worried because one of them is very lethal, one of them isn't. So it'll allow us to see if this will become a problem in the future or not. <laughs> 